Thanks to Lark for sponsoring this video. So yes, we are back with another desk accessories slash unique tech and gear sort of video. These videos always do so well on my channel. And I mentioned in the last one that I wanted to make it a series and not just cover desk accessories, but also cover sort of unique tech and gear that also align with what I'm interested in. So let's get straight into it. So first up, we have the Insta360 Link, which is a very high-end webcam, which I really wish existed at the height of COVID because it pretty much puts every other webcam to shame. I think the only way to get better webcam quality would be to use a dedicated camera, which of course would cost a lot more money and you'd have to set up a tripod and set up some sort of desk mount or whatever else. This Insta360 Link is just so impressive. It can be mounted to your computer screen or it can even be mounted to a tripod as it has a quarter inch mounting point. It's essentially a gimbal camera that's been turned into a webcam and I'm surprised that this wasn't thought of before. It's also really compact, much smaller than I expected. Most webcams are completely static, whether they're at the top of a laptop screen or a desktop screen. Once placed, there could be quite a faff moving them around and sort of lining them up. But this Insta360 link just makes it so much easier. I've just mounted it to the top of my Pro Display XDR. And yeah, it can follow me around, no problem. And the quality I feel like is incredible. Even the sort of depth of field. So if I put my hand in front, you can see how blurry the background is over here and how quickly it focuses on my face as well. And I think this video quality is really good. I don't think you're really going to get much better unless you use a dedicated camera, like I mentioned. And when it comes to the built-in mics on the Insta360, this is what it sounds like. I don't think it's that great to be honest. I mean, it's good enough, I guess, in a pinch, but I think you're still better off using a dedicated mic or even just a mic in the MacBook. If you have a MacBook Pro, one of the latest MacBooks, um, yeah, you're going to get much better quality mics in them. Obviously, what's most impressive about this webcam is the way it can track you. So. Like I said, if I move left, right, it can track me. And then if I get up out of my seat and I move <laughs> and I move around the room, you can see it, it just tracks me incredibly well. Like it's so impressive how well it tracks. I can even do things like, so if I hold my hand up, it will do a gesture, well, it's a gesture basically. And then now it will make it static. So it won't follow me around. If I put my hand up again, it will start tracking me again. And then if you want to take it a step further, you can actually just do this and then you can start zooming in. Like what? This is, this is so impressive, I think. And it's just so smooth, like it, it tracks like really quickly as well. Like I could be darting around the room and it's just incredible. And I can sit back down in my, in my desk and yeah, like we're all ready to go again. Like this is, Incredible. This is such a cool webcam. And like I said, I really wish it, ex it had existed at the height of COVID because I would have used this rather than using a dedicated camera that I was using for video calls. There's a bunch of other neat features too, such as the ability to have the camera point down at your desk to present something on your desk. A whiteboard mode where you can place stickers at each corner of a whiteboard and it will zoom into it. Again, ideal for presenting. And of course, the gestures that I just showed, the tracking and the zooming in and out. It's not cheap though, at $300. It's definitely on the more premium end when it comes to, well, it's probably one of the most premium webcams you can buy. But I think if you're someone who's working from home, who does a lot of video calls for work and other sort of professional related settings, I think $300 is, is well worth the money. It's well worth sort of spending, investing in a webcam like this rather than buying a sort of dedicated camera setup. So yeah, that's the Insta360 Link, a really impressive webcam. I'll be using it in this setup with my Pro Display XDR going forward. Next up, we have the Lark PureVis Picture. The PureVis Picture is an advanced water picture with two-step filtration and purification. The plant-based carbon-derived filter removes things such as lead, chlorine, pesticides, and many more forever chemicals. This is a perfect replacement to buying wasteful plastic bottles of water. The first step when it comes to cleaning your water is the filtration. It has a plant-based filter that removes a wide range of pollutants commonly found in tap water. The filter also has a 60 gallon capacity, lasting up to 50% compared to traditional filters, so you won't need to replace it as often. The second step is purification. Using proprietary PureVis UVC LED technology, it improves the quality of your water by preventing bio-contaminant growth. It purifies the water automatically, both on refill and every six hours to prevent bacterial growth inside the picture. I love the design of it too. It has a clean and modern design and comes in either pure white or Monaco blue. I actually only drink tap water. I refuse to buy bottled water for two main reasons. The first one is I just feel like it's a waste of money buying bottled water. And the second thing is 
it's just a waste of plastic. It's, it's so much plastic that you really don't need. The pitcher is perfect for making sure my tap water is clean and safe to drink every time. There's even an app which you can use which isn't required to use the pitcher, but it can be used to track your water intake, battery level, and when you need to replace the filter. So make sure to check out the PureVis pitcher. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. And thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Next up, we have the Native Union Drop Magnetic Wireless Charger. I seem to be buying every single wireless charger there is available. I seem to feature a new one in every single video, but I feel like you can just never have enough. I have them everywhere, all around the home, all around the office, just so I can make sure my iPhone is always charged. Native Union recently released this new drop magnetic wireless charger. It's basically a MagSafe charger that is supposed to sit on a desk, table, or nightstand. It has quite a bit of weight to it, which makes sure it stays put when you take your phone off it. It'll be replacing the one on my nightstand, mainly because I've had numerous times, I mean, it's not that often, but I've had numerous times where I've gone to bed, just before I've fallen asleep, I put my phone on the phone, on the wireless charger, and I haven't aligned it properly, which means I wake up the next morning with a phone that's low on battery. And yeah, it doesn't happen all the time, but it's happened enough times where I'm just like, okay, enough is enough. I need to find a proper wireless charger where I can put my phone down and make sure it charges every night. And with this having MagSafe built in, yeah, it should make sure that it's aligned perfectly every time. Also with it being Native Union, it of course looks awesome. I've recommended many of their products on the channel before, and it's probably because they do such a good job of aesthetics and functionality. I like using tech products that have some finesse to them. Next up, we have this absolute tank of a keyboard. I can't express enough how heavy this thing is. When I got it, I was just like, Jesus Christ, this is one of the heaviest keyboards I have ever seen. Honestly, you could actually kill someone. You could do bicep curls with this. Like, like I could do actual bicep curls with this. This is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> this is one of the most insane keyboards. I featured the 65 from Mode before, but yeah, this is the new Sonnet um, or Sonne. I don't know exactly how it's how it's said, but yeah, this is one of their new keyboards. It's a 75% layout and it is incredible. Mode really know how to make their keyboards and I just feel like this is an absolute weapon. For perspective, the Magic Keyboard weighs 230 grams. The Mode 65 weighs 1280 grams, the one that I have. And this Sonnet weighs 3,120 grams. So it is an absurdly heavy keyboard. Every keyboard is made to order. When you go on the website to order your own, you're put through a customization screen where you can choose things such as color and materials of the case, as well as accent colors, and whether you'd like to add internal foam and much, much more. Mine has the black aluminum top case, the brass accent in the top case, a brass bottom case, a brass wave pattern internal weight, as well as a silicone base to deaden the sound. The switches I have in these are the Gatoron Oil King switches. Now they're not the most quietest. I don't think it's as quiet as my 65, but it's still fairly quiet. And it's because I personally just like quiet keyboards. I actually can't stand loud keyboards, especially because I work in an office environment, I work at home, I have people around me. I don't want a loud keyboard distracting everyone. I also hate hearing other loud keyboards being distracting. So I actually prefer my keyboards to be very quiet, very muted in sound. It's why I also have the foam inside this one as well. This is a seriously impressive keyboard. It's not cheap though, but it's not really meant to be. It's meant to be a high-end keyboard, a keyboard for those who are interested in mechanical keyboards, who are interested in having something that's completely custom designed for them and really high-end. A keyboard where you really won't have to buy another keyboard again. Now. I feel like that doesn't really make sense because I know what mechanical keyboard enthusiasts are like. You don't just have one keyboard, you have 10. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you are looking for the one keyboard that sort of does it all, I think this is definitely one to look at. I really like the 75% layout on this. I think the 75% layout is actually my favorite layout. I much prefer it over all the other layouts because I like having the function of keys. I actually use them quite a lot and I don't want to have to be messing around with holding down FN and then hitting a number button to get a, a function button. So yeah, the Mode Sonnet, absolutely incredible keyboard. I highly recommend checking it out. For those wondering which USB-C cable I'm using with the keyboard, it's from Native Union, <laughs> again. I've shared it previously, but I think it's worth mentioning again. It's their desk cable, which is made from a heavy duty, but also very good looking nylon. 
The connectors are made from metal and feel super high end. There's also an attached weight which helps keep the cable in place. It can even do 100 watts of power over the cable so it can be used to charge your laptop. But please do note that the speeds of it are only USB 2.0 so it's fine for something like a keyboard but don't use it with external hard drives or something like that, just anything that requires fast data transfer speeds. Next up we have the Govi Lyra Smart LED Floor Lamp and it's actually this lamp that you see right here and I use it in the back of my videos, I know a lot of you ask what it is and I think it's just worth sharing because it's a pretty awesome floor lamp. It's a high quality LED floor lamp that can also do RGB of course. I found it perfect for sort of just lighting up this side of my studio, adding some accent colour because it also doesn't flicker on camera. It can be controlled via the provided remote which is to be honest what I primarily use as I like to keep it white and I don't really like to use the RGB features that much anyway. You can of course use the Govi app which gives you an absolute ton of options for customization. There is just a ridiculous amount of options in here. You can really customize this light to pretty much do anything you like. It can do obviously the standard RGB lighting that you'd expect but it can also do things like respond to sound, respond to music and other things like that. Finally we have the Corsair HS80 USB headset. So I've been using the PlayStation Pulse headset for quite a while now for my PS5 and my PC but the mic quality on it isn't really that great. So I ended up coming across a few reviews online, I ended up coming across this, the HS80, and the mic quality on this is incredible. This is what the actual mic quality sounds like. This is what's coming out of this little thing here. I was blown away. Like the mic quality on this is fantastic. Unless you're absolutely set on having super high quality mic audio, I think this is more than good enough for things like in-game chat, Discord, and even streaming. To be honest, unless you're streaming as your job, I don't see what the point is in getting an external mic. This will do the job. I do think though that the audio quality from the headset itself is just pretty average. I'm no audiophile, but I do feel like it lacks range, especially in the low end, and it seems as though other reviews also agree. There is just a base sort of lacking in the headset. I mainly use it for FPS games such as Apex, and luckily the base doesn't actually matter too much for games like that. The design is also pretty minimal, especially in the black that I have here. I like how it doesn't look sort of overly gamery. The logo also lights up and can be set to pretty much any colour you like. But what I really like is how the mic arm itself can actually just be moved up to mute the microphone, and then you'll see a sort of red LED showing that it's muted and then you can bring it back down and you're back with the microphone on again. A really quick and easy way to mute and unmute yourself without having to mess around any buttons on the headset or on your piece or anything. Just simply move the mic up and down. Really easy. There's a volume dial on the headset itself for quick adjustment. The foam ear pads are also very, very comfortable, especially for long gaming sessions. I use it anywhere between one to four hours at a time and I don't have any issues at all. I find it very comfortable. It's become my main gaming headset now. I love it that much. And this is the wide version, but they do also do a wireless version and the wireless version actually has come down in price. I prefer the wide version anyway, just because I don't really want to have to charge it regularly. So for the price, I really do think it's very reasonable. And I think for anyone who's looking for a gaming headset, with good enough audio, but very good microphone audio, microphone quality, this is one of the best you can get. And that's it for this video. Some of my favorite sort of desk accessories and unique tech and gear. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll leave links to obviously everything that I've mentioned in the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.